So when, when I was doing my Cinco for Summer videos yesterday, I thought I had reviews to put up or to link in my videos for everything that I talked about, but somehow never did a review on these. I'm not sure what the deal is with that because I was almost, I was 100% certain that I had done reviews on every shoe I've bought since I've been here and somehow these just kind of slipped through the cracks which is weird because these are one of my favorite shoes this model this color everything about it so let's get into this shall we right here this guy right here is the adidas i5923 it used to be called the aniki runner but i think there was a copyright or trademark or whatever thing that got in the way of them keeping that name and so then they changed it and so now it's called some series of numbers that I don't know the significance of. I just know that I don't like the name. So moving past that, past my personal feelings into the review itself, looking at this thing from the bottom to the top, you got the Boost midsole. It's not quite as comfortable. Well, it's super comfortable. It's not quite as cushiony as the Ultra Boost, but it is more cushiony than the NMDs. So that's, I mean, Honestly, I never thought the NMDs were really that comfortable to begin with. I don't know. I'd rather have some Prestos or Hirachis any day. But just to give you guys a, some sort of range of where they sit, that's that's what I'm going to go with. So it's personal experience. NMDs, these, the Aniki Runners, or 5923s, the uh, Ultra Boost, and then the, was it the, the 9117s, and then the Yeezys. Not a whole lot of space between this upper echelon of shoes, but that's just where they rank. Personal opinion, of course, yours may be different. Anyways, so past the midsole, you got the uh, the gum bottom, which I'm a huge fan of, especially on this. It really just works well. And then this, the upper here, the suede that they have going on around the, uh, around the toe box or whatever you want to call that area, that is super soft. It's... I don't know, it's just a really good feeling material there. And then past that, this isn't suede, but it's a nice cloth. It's kind of kind of stretchy. And that's also super soft. The, everything else about it is pretty much the same too. The only where, place where it gets a little different is just on this, which isn't like a... It's just kind of like... I don't know what you'd call it, but if you think about like a football jersey or any jersey like that, what the how the numbers are on there, that's what this feels like. Whatever that material is, how it's just laid across it. That's what these stripes are like. Then on the back, you've got some leather that's actually softer than one might expect it to be. All in all, I mean, for $120 retail-wise, you're getting a pretty good shoe for that price. I don't know why people aren't buying these. I don't know why they keep going on sale constantly, but they're totally worth getting, to, in my opinion. So, um... Sizing and that's let me scoot over because that's where the videos will be right up here. So I You know, cause I just clean the bottom of these off so I can do this on foot and all that stuff because I've worn these a few times and You don't wear your shoes in the house. Well, I don't anyways. That's that's another story for another day So sizing wise these things I go true to size, right? I'm a nine and a half guy for Adidas. I stick with the nine and a half pretty much everything that they make Minus those three MCs, but that's because those are skate shoes, so they just the sizing is just different in any way on those. But these, they do have a somewhat loose fit, so I did go down half a size on my Goldenrod pair, and I would not recommend it, at least not without trying them on. That is just, for one, that was the only size they had left, and I figured, you know what, that was my chance to try it out. And they still fit, you know, I still wear them, it's not a huge deal. It's just my preferred fit would be going with my normal size. So just keep that in mind when hopefully you go and try out a pair of these. Because again, while they are not the most popular shoe, they should be a little more popular than they are. I mean, especially with summer coming up, it's a nice shoe to wear for that. Because again, for the um, for being as light as it is and as cheap as it is, and in as many colors as they come in, it's definitely something to consider. So hopefully you, you do that. And again, you're going to find these on all kinds of sales, I mean, whether it be through Foot Locker or Champs or just or through uh, Adidas themselves. You shouldn't have to spend the whole 120 
I don't think I've paid retail for a single pair. I usually pull somewhere between like 70 to 90. And I'm very happy. I did get my black pair for like 35 though, because it was marked down to, I want to say $50 or something like that. $45, $50. Then I had a 20% off of that. So, I mean, it's, I, I couldn't pass it up. I didn't even want them all that much, but I know that they were comfortable and I knew that I could. I was going to get a good deal, so it's like, why not, right? We've all been there. Anyway, so that really concludes the review. I just wanted to give these the attention they deserve because somehow I skipped over them, which is still crazy to me. But yes, so that's everything. Again, true to size on these guys right here, the Adidas i5923. I still prefer to call them the Aniki Runners because it just sounds better. And I really do wonder what the significance is of those numbers. So as I was speaking through the video, it was kind of bugging me on the on, on my mind or whatever, like why the name change actually happened. So I looked it up real quick. What happened was the Aniki title was already trademarked by somebody and I guess it seemed abandoned, but it came up eventually. So they couldn't use it. And so they went with the I5923, which is based off of the model number of the Adidas Mercury from 1985, and that model number was the F5923. So this thing right here, that's what they modeled it after. You can kind of tell just looking at the picture. So there you go. Now, now you've got uh, some kind of knowledge to share it with your friends. They'll be very underwhelmed because they won't know what you're talking about. But uh, also, well, one, one other thing on the top here. Just kind of like the detailing of the the tongue piece there. Hope that's focusing because I can't quite see the camera. But um, it says what Adidas, Die Mark Mint Den Three Strafen the brand. You know, it's some sort of I don't know. I guess it says the brand with three stripes and then in maybe German or something. It's just kind of a nice touch, you know. Just kind of a nice touch on there. I hope it focuses, but it's the camera's gonna do what the camera's gonna do. I can't control it. Anyways, so that's it for this. Hope you guys go and check, check out a pair of these. And I will see you again hopefully soon. I don't have another review to do for another couple days. At, at least like a week, I'd say. But um, I'll, I'll figure something out, hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, you guys have a nice rest of your day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will... I'll be in touch. I'll be in touch or at the bare minimum posting pictures on Instagram. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't. I think most of you are though. All right, see you later.